Yeah. yeah. So you, you mentioned a good point about quarterback. Um, and so I, I really kind of want to go there next. Is it a foregone conclusion? It seems like uh, Carson Beck is, you know, being prepared to to take over that role. If that if that does indeed happen, is it a foregone conclusion that Bron, uh, Brock Vandegrift is gone? Who knows? He apparently he told one of our reporters after the game in terms of transferring and stuff that he needs to prey on it. I, I, I who knows what that means. Um, but I think he's going to go through. I think I mean I think the competition guys is probably going to go through the fall. To be honest, like I'm curbing them won't announce a starter. I mean, yeah, they, I don't I don't blame them. You know, they probably want to wait and everything. And sometimes you know they do that because they don't want to tell the other team the advantage. But sometimes they're like. How well does this guy just totally encapsulate the team through the weeks and 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 grind we put him through? Because um, they're going to take a lot of grind and pressure as a Georgia quarterback this next year, as you guys know. You're going to be the face of that team, probably. So, mm -hmm. personally, I think Vandegrift. If what I saw him play in high school once or twice, so we had a friend who coached on his um, on his high school staff. We went and saw it during COVID. Um, Beck, I think, is a great thrower. I don't know how mobile he is because that was, as you guys saw, Stetson's best quality, I think, was how he could get himself out of trouble mm -hmm. and make a few of runs here and there. Um, the same with Hendon. Like, Hendon was a great thrower, but his ability to run, it got him out of stuff. Same with Bryce sometimes, too. Like, if you can't move in the pocket, you're done. There's so much speed and power now in yeah. defenses that if you can't be able to get out of stuff, like, that's why JT, as good as he was a thrower, like, that's why he's he's not really that great of a overall quarterback. And why he's well, going to be racist? Look like he did down the stretch too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Will's not Will's not mobile either. Nope. Yeah. So we'll see what um we'll see what happens. I think I think Vandegrift might have the best of both worlds. Gunnar Stockton, I think, is really he's a solid QB. Um, I haven't seen him play it in spring game, so we'll see how he does year two. But from what I understand and think about, like who brings the who maximizes the offense the most, and who's the team believe and trust in, and who has that kind of like that Stetson, like you know, fourth quarter end of game, like. I want the ball in my hands, and I'm going to actually execute and win. I think that's the, that, those are going to be the qualities they look for all year. And yeah. I think Vandegrift maximizes the offense athletically the most. But, you know, the guy still got to go out there and play and do it. You right. know, like we can talk all you want, but how do you do in your spring practices and the spring game when you actually have all the people watching and now, like, you know, hey, we're, you know, cuffs are off, man. Go go play. Right. Um, same in the spring – same in the summer ball. Like, hey, you're now – we're putting more on you. It's hot. It's tired. How are you going to respond to this? Are you going to encapsulate the team? Are the team going to respond to you? Do you got chemistry? And then, thankfully, we have UT Martin, like, not a too hard of a game to start off. So you can kind of like, all right, man, let's see what you do. I mean, the first hardest game I think we have, it will be Carolina at home. And, you know, they ain't, those guys aren't – they're not – like, they're they're still an SEC football team. As much as we can make fun of them there, they got dudes on their team that are going to come after you. And you're just going to be – It'll probably be a night game or something like that. You know, there's going to be a lot of people watching. Like, you know, how do you respond? So, thankfully, that quarterback, whoever it is, has got some studs around them. And they got Brock Bowers to throw to him. My man. Tight I can throw to Brock Bowers. I can <laughs> back with Brock Bowers. Yeah. So, we'll see. Um, if I had to put money on it, like, who's starting day one? I'd say maybe Brock. But it's funny, guys. Every year, except for this year, Kirby has changed quarterbacks at some point. Mm -hmm. So, Money's on that. It may, whoever starts day one may not be the starter day two because of injuries or whatever happens. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah.